Mike, thank you. New Jersey's Catholic leaders unite in prayer this evening with the people of Cuba. As Cubans here in the state hope this is a turning point against the communist regime. News 12 New Jersey's Naomi Yane live right now in West New York with the story. Naomi. It's been exactly a week since protests first erupted on the island nation. And in the past week, we've seen a growing support of the Cuban people from across the world, across the country, and right here in our state. And today, leaders of the Catholic Church are or have organized a prayer vigil in support of and in solidarity with the Cuban people. Cuban American bishops issued a statement in support of Cubans seeking recognition of their human rights following protests against the government. We've seen images of those protests over the past weekend. We've also seen a growing support of the Cuban people across the world in the form of solidarity rallies. We spoke with Bishop Manuel Cruz of the Archdiocese of Newark, and he who is also of Cuban descent, and his message was simple them to know that they are not abandoned. They are not abandoned. And they are our brothers and sisters, and we love them. And not just Cubans were in attendance at today's uh, prayer service, but people from across different nationalities, all with the same message of support, all with the same message of solidarity and wanting to remind Cuban people that they're not forgotten. In West New York, Naomi Yane, News 12, New Jersey.